Hi, Rob Clues here, Z-Track Distribution. It is early March 2023. Um, we've had some reports about some Rokahan turnouts, RO39s, that are causing some issues with engines running through them. Now, the RO39 is a left-hand turnout. When it's in a manual mode uh, and the uh, turnout is switched to go into the left siding, we're seeing it situations where the locomotive may be running through that turnout. So we've been looking into that. This appears to be with a late run of 2022 Rokahan turnouts that we're seeing a few of these issues. It's not on every turnout, but it's definitely happening on a couple of them. So we wanted to look at this problem. So what we're realizing is, if you look right in here, or we're pointing right in here, there's a notch in the rail where the turnout sign drops into. We th first thought that that cut may not be deep enough, which is part of what we think the problem is. But what we're really seeing is a situation where we believe the engine is actually hitting the rail, the inside rail. So where that rail drops in, it should lay low. We want that flange of the locomotive to come run up over this inside rail and take the siding. When it's hitting that, it's causing it to bounce. It's actually pushing down on this a little bit. We're seeing the engine run through. So if I do this right here, I've been looking at this turnout, so we should see it right there a little bit. When I run this engine through, we're probably going to see it go right into this situation where it stalls out right there. So you, there you go. So what are we doing to fix that? So let me pull this guy back. So what we're going to recommend here is, and we've just been playing with these, we think there's just a fine adjustment you can make. Nothing too hard, using just a little flathead screwdriver here. What we're seeing is we need to push down this little lip here. And we need that rail at the bottom in the crease to go tighter up against that rail. So if I push down on this, and more importantly, push down this lip right in here. What I want to do is I'm essentially creating a little bit of, shall we say, like a, a, a ramp per se. And I'm just tying up that metal. The metal is loose enough that there shouldn't be any issues here. Now, again, it may take a little tweaking. I know I've been playing with these for a little bit, trying to get them right. Test this out. Make sure the turnout's nice and smooth. Everything's working good for you. Now, let's run this engine through. Let's see if I made any difference here. There you go. That is it. So we bring a couple train cars through it. Obviously, I wanted to make sure they could go through with the deeper flanges. Super minor adjustment. Not much that we really have to do here. It's just repositioning that metal and in that inside rail just slightly. And there we go. We're through again. So that's it, guys. That is the minor tweak on the RO39s. Obviously, if you do have any real issues with these, we are going to cover them under warranty. Uh, you can start that with your U.S. dealer. But uh, for right now, we think this is going to be a fairly easy correction. Um, and, uh, yeah, looks like it's working pretty darn well. May need a little more tweaking, but uh, looks pretty good. So that's it. Rob Clues, Z-Track Distribution, uh, working on some work on turnouts. And uh, if you have any questions, as always, email us at sales at ztrack.com. Thank you. Bye.